Heaven. Heaven. Do you think it's possible for there to be a transformation of human consciousness which is so needed around the planet without a real understanding and experience of what heaven really is? Is it possible to have a meaningful, straight-up discussion about what heaven is? It'd be easy to offend somebody, I'm sure, of a particular faith, but I don't know how we move forward as a human race without getting real about these things. I want to suggest that heaven, very simply, is that part of reality that you cannot see. You cannot see it directly, you can't see it with your eyes, and you can't hear it with your ears. You can hear its reverberation, you can see its reflection in the form all around you. We go someplace and we say it's heavenly. So the forms that we do see can be filled with heaven, they can reverberate with heaven, our senses can be aware of that, but the word heaven relates to that part of reality that is not yet in form. All of this tells us that heaven is real. It's not real in the sense that this lectern is real, but it does have a form that is substantial and meaningful, actually very meaningful to us in the living of our life when we tune into it. Big idea number two. And I think you'll see right away that the religions of the world, one way or another, have grabbed onto this and claimed it as their own. God. So many of us have re rejected the very idea of God because of the rather preposterous or immature images of what God might be. I don't believe that God is sitting up someplace judging us. I don't believe that the reality of God is far away. If that word has meaning, it relates to being. What's real is that we live in a world that is not just stuff. When you look out that window today and you see a tree, you see a rock, you see a deer, you see a bird, you're not just looking at matter. It's not just stuff. And it's not just energy. We live in a world that is not ener just energy and matter. We live in a living world. And by living, I don't just mean it's moving around. There's being. This world isn't just a something, it's a someone. Because within this planet is the reality of being. It's not a dead planet that's somehow moving around, inert but activated. It's, it's a being, it has a soul, a universal soul, if you will. There's being within you and there's being within me. Very simply put, heaven is the place where invisible, the invisible dimensions of being live. Heaven is where God lives. Can we simply be satisfied knowing that the ground upon which you and I stand is holy ground? It's holy ground because Yes, it's physical form, but the reality of being, the reality of God in heaven is here. It's here in you, it's here in me, it's here in all things. This is holy ground. This is a holy earth that we are here in. 